How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to develop self-discipline and willpower. So in this video, I will go over one exercise with you guys that will help you tremendously. It has helped me personally and it has made me a better person. But before we go over that exercise, let's talk about what is self-discipline? What is willpower? Self-discipline basically means your willingness to accept discomfort. So for anyone out there who's thinking, well, why would I need self-discipline? Well, what is willpower before we begin? Willpower is just basically controlling your impulses. So what is self-discipline? What is willpower? Great examples of this are, let's say you're writing a paper, let's say you're trying to study, your discipline, your self-discipline, making sure, if you guys have a whole week to do that paper, making sure that you spend the time during the week, not doing it the very last day, you guys. Very important, self-discipline. Get your ass at the table, start studying now. You need discipline. Another great example, probably a better example, is going to be when you are dieting, your self-discipline, your willpower. How willingly are you able to eat foods or go without uh, periods that you may be hungry? So willpower, self-discipline, there's lots of different examples. By doing this exercise that I'm about to tell you, it will make you a better person. If you're trying to diet and you are having a just a hard time with the cravings, your willpower, your self-discipline to stick to your diet, not to give in to those cravings. Because for me, in my opinion, dieting is more willpower. Um, you have got to stay on track and you have got to control those cravings, those hunger cravings. So the exercise I'm going to tell you is going to be cold showers, you guys. That is right. Now, you guys are probably wondering, well, why would I do cold showers? Well, it's very easy, you guys. You're going to take a shower every day, no matter what. No matter what, you're probably gonna shower if you're a pretty clean person like me. And I have done this before. I've showered for three months in a row, cold showers. They don't have to be ice, ice cold, but very cold, you guys. Now, what does it do? It willingly puts you in discomfort. So that's self-discipline. Willingly puts you in discomfort, because let's be real. Who wants to take a cold shower? Now, if you can do that, you will program your brain to understand that when shit get like shit happens in life, because let's be realistic, a cold shower is nothing, but certain things will happen in your life that you need self-discipline, you need willpower, you need those two things. By doing these cold showers, you have already programmed your brain into accepting discomfort. Another great example is let's say you may have um, a job to do, maybe your current job, maybe for a month you have a project to do that is awful and you do not want to do it. Well, by training your brain, you are giving yourself the ability to go through discomfort, to go through hell. It's just like lifting weights. Maybe leg day is your hardest day and you just do not want to do it. By having self-discipline, willpower, you will go and you will get that done, you guys. So you are accepting discomfort. So I recommend taking a shower every single day, a cold shower first thing in the morning. Now you guys are probably gonna be thinking to yourself, that's impossible. Just even thinking about that makes me like, oh, cold shower, I hate that. I love my warm showers. Why do you like your warm showers? You like the warm showers because that's comfort. You're giving your body comfort. Your body is getting used to comfort. You do not want that. You want your body to feel discomfort. So again, when shit happens in life, because it will, stuff will happen in life that will completely turn your head upside down. Things may be going extremely well for you and then all of a sudden shit just may go south. Now, if your brain is programmed, you will be able to handle that situation. You will be able to remain calm headed, um, stay very uh, true to yourself and you won't let the negative things gain on you. You won't change who the person you are. So again, by doing the cold showers, you are really programming your brain. 
It, it's all about mental stability, you guys, being strong mentally. Because let's face it, our bodies are capable of some extraordinary things. But mentally, I find that's where people are the weakest is in their brain. So this is about fitness. This is about dieting. If you master self-discipline, you master willpower, then trust me, your body, the food that you're eating, it will just completely transform itself. You need to be up... You need to be there mentally. You need to be there. So I recommend you guys try the cold showers. Maybe try it for a week, couple of weeks. Let's see how long that you guys can go by doing the cold showers. Comment below too. I want to hear how you guys ex is experience ours with the cold showers. Maybe you guys have already done the cold showers before. Um, but yeah, just comment below. I'd love to feel your guys' interaction. So end the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks for watching.